Hello, I'm going to show you how to remove the background on a white on white product shoot. So this image that's highlighted here is a photo that we like. This is a typical type of photo that we do here. We're shooting a white box on a white background. But you can tell from this histogram that in the upper right, there's nothing here that's 100% white. I'm going to give you an example of that. I'm going to click over to this one. I'm going to click on the develop tab and then on the upper right I'm going to roll over or toggle on this highlight alert and it's going to show me everything in red that's 100% white. I'm going to go to grid here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say create virtual copy. So I'm creating a virtual copy of that image. Uh, it's not making a duplicate. It's just another recipe so it doesn't take up more room on your hard drive. I'm going to go to the develop tab. I'm going to work on these uh, corrections over here on the right to see if I can get more contrast between the foreground and the background. That's all I'm going for. So I might scroll down even to saturation, try to use the um, different white points of the paper box and the background box to my advantage. So I'm going to go back to grid. This is pretty close. I should have enough contrast to pull those out. I'm going to right click both of those images to select them. I'm going to go to edit in open as layers in Photoshop, this last selection. It's going to move those over to Photoshop and open them as two separate layers. I'm going to switch to Photoshop. You can see the two images in here. The exposure I like is on top. I'm going to turn that off and jump to this one because I want it use that contrast to use the tools. I'm going to click on the marquee, select and mask. I'm going to drag around the edge of that image. Selected too much, so I'm going to click the minus key and select this area that I don't want included in the selection. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to fine tune this selection. I'm going to use this tool over here the quick mask tool. I'm going to hit B for brush. I'm going to tighten up my brush size a little bit. All right, on my selection tool, I'm going to click off the quick mask tool and click on my top layer. And I'm going to hide the bottom layer. So right now, I'm just affecting the top layer. There's the image I like. Command L for levels. I'm going to push this over to the left. I'm going to leave a little bit of this to the left of here because I want some shadows to show up. I like that. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. I'm going to delete this lower layer. And I'm going to use my healing brush to clean up a couple of these dust spots. I'm going to hit Command W. It's going to ask me to save it. I'm going to click Yes. I'm going to jump back to Lightroom. And I'm going to see that I have my image now with 100% backdrop. And if I look in the Develop, I'm going to see this and showing where the 100% white is. All right, so then I can just export out of here if I want and save it out. 